Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry for the lateness, but there was a problem with Zoom. It's asking, it's asking me for a passcode. So you see, today is Thursday. I checked the calendar. <laughs> so today is today. Thursday. <laughs> Glad to see you all, and thank you so much for being in this class today. Right, we're going to work together right with a uh, with the platform we're going to keep on working and completing the exercises that we have there right and of course if you have questions please let me know we are going to be completing examples as long as we see the information right so let me just go ahead and show you my computer Sorry, today I don't know if you're having problems with the internet, but I'm having a lot of problems with my internet connection. Not with my phone, with the with the Wi-Fi. Are you having problems with the Wi-Fi as well? No. In my job, no. yes, but in my house, no, not. Uh -huh. Yes. Interesting. I don't know if. It was just for the day and for the night. Probably, because right now mine is very, very slow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I actually look like I'm saying things very slow, but I'm not, right? So we're Your going to work right now. Claro? Yes. Mm, okay. yes, that's why. Mm -hmm. Is Claro having problems? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Hi, but, good evening. Hi, good evening. Nice to see you all today. <laughs> now, this computer. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start here. I want you to look at the objective. With this one today, we're going to learn how to say likes and dislikes. And we're going to use an adverbial clause. It sounds difficult, but it's not. Okay, it sounds pretty difficult, but it's not. So that's what we're going to do. Likes and dislikes using clauses with it plus adverbial clauses. That's what we're going to work with right now. Right, so let's pay attention, right? Let's pay attention. So we have clauses with it. We are going to watch the video as we always do. But there are going to be some times that I will pause it and you try to give your examples. Okay? Let's do it. Can you hear this? Okay. So this is something that I like. So I like it when. Do you listen to that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Sorry. I always watch the videos. <laughs> That's why they're always like that. So let's go ahead and, and, and practice. Hello everyone. In this class you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say for example you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There I just express the likes and dislikes and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that I'm going to use expressions such as I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary. Okay. Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as I don't like it, I can't stand it, 
I hate it. Remember, for positive things, I like it, I love it. For neutral, I don't mind it, right? And for negatives, I hate it, right? So remember that, keep that in mind, right? Look at this, oh my God. You know what, I, I hate this, this, this thing. I like it, I love it, positive. Neutral, I don't mind it. Don't like, that is negative, I don't like it. I can't stand it, I hate it, right? Now we're gonna keep watching. I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So I say I like it. And that's my clause with it. And then the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation. Um, when. All right. So let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. Okay. We have the first one. Right. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. We're going to follow the, we're going to follow right now, guys. I need you to pay attention. We're going to follow this formula, okay? Remember, the formula is divided in two parts, right? The clause with it, which is this part right here, right? This is the clause with it. And it will be this, right? And also, give me a moment. I'm showing something here. Okay, there we are. And also, right, we are showing the adverbial clause, which, like I said, it sounds difficult, but it's not. Okay, it's not. So we have the adverbial clause with when is this. That's what we got. I want you to go ahead and try to write your example, right? Try to write your example. I'm gonna try to write mine. And it's going to be a like, right? Something that I like. I like it. This is my clause with it. Look, I like it. When my students participate in class. Aha. Uh -huh. Then I got my example, you see? Right? I like it when my students participate in class. Here, we are putting the information in simple present. Right? If you look at this, right? It's the present, it's the present, present, right? Because these are things that actually are true, right? And if we're actually describing factuals, then we need to use the simple present, right? Now, what are your examples? I want to see them in the chat. And if you want to say them out loud, please raise your hand in Zoom so we can go ahead and share the information. Let's do it. Do it now. Okay, teacher. Are we going to write in the chat or? Yes. Okay. I need to see how you write. I like okay. it when the people 
When people love themselves. When people love themselves. If you say the people, Corey, you're especially Yes? My sentence, <laughs> it was I like it when person love themselves. I know what. No, it's okay. You why can, I, I you can say, one. no, you can say people or you can say persons. It's fine. But what you yes, cannot say. I don't know what. <laughs> well, I, I wrote that people. <laughs> uh -huh. It's just that. I think it's deleted. It was myself. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Delete that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Patricia says, I like it when my husband gives me flowers. I, no. I like it when my husband gives me flowers. Patricia? Gives me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Full present. Right? Uh, let's see, Gracina. I like it when my boyfriend. What is the mistake, Gracina? Invites me. Invites me. There you are. Very good. Cody, very good. I like it when people love themselves. Very good. Invites me to the beach. Good. I like it when my friends are kind. Excellent, Juan. I like it when my husband invites me. Azucena, simple present. Invites me to Sorry, go I miss the, 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 the letter S. Yes, because it's in simple present. Right? The clauses are in simple present. Very good. Excellent examples. Nice. I like it when you give excellent examples. Very good. Now, <laughs> you see, we're using the, the clauses here to speak. Uh, I love it when my sons play the guitar. Good. I love it when my, when my uh, little nephew goes to school. So he's not in the house. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, we're going to make our examples here, right? I'm going to delete this information. And we're going to keep on watching. Pay attention. I am going to put myself on mute again. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you. This could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. Listen to what he said. It's true for you. So it means that you should put simple present, right? Simple present. So Rosa, right? I like it when my friend speaks with me, speaks with me, right? So we need to put the S. I like it when my garden has a lot of flowers. My daughters kiss me, very good. I like it when my kids let me study. Very good. And I like it when, I don't understand Archimedes. Write it again, okay? Now let's keep on watching. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb, I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, at the same time, I could also be neutral about it. I could say, I don't mind it, all right? Okay, I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment. Uh, and then again, you might be shy and you probably don't like it, right? So you might uh, have a negative point of view about that situation and you might say, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment. And that's how you formulate this kind of uh, sentences. Um, again, you could be neutral about the whole situation. You could uh, you could um, uh, be positive about it, so you could like it, or you could love it, um, and um, at the same time, something could make you upset, right? Um, the examples that I gave earlier where I, so let me follow the structure here, right? So I'm going to say I like it when friends give me gifts. 
for my birthday. What? Okay. So this is something that I like. So I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when friends forget about my birthday. Um, it doesn't bother me when friends arrive late to a party. Now what I would like for you to do is to think about all the things that you like and all the things that you don't like and all the things that you're neutral about. Okay, so now we're going to go back here, right? Oh, what is the video? Jesus Christ. We want to watch it here. We want to watch it here. Okay, so we got here the video. Okay, we have the vocabulary on the screen. I w you already write one with positive. I, I like it when everybody pays attention in the class. Okay, pays attention. Okay, very good. You already put the positive. Let's try to write one neutral and one negative. Remember, don't like it. It's like, eh, I don't like it. I can't stand it. It's like, oh, shh, I can't stand it. And hate it is like, mm, 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 I hate it, right? So let's go ahead and write our examples there, right? So we can see one neutral and one negative. Remember this structure, okay? I don't, I'm gonna put my negative here. I, I'm gonna use, I hate it when people lie to me. I hate it when people lie to me, right? That's my example, let's write your example. You have the same? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'll change the, the Okay, let's take a look at the examples. I have four examples already. That's pretty cool. Let's see here, right? Teacher, I watch what, it. Do you say, what do you say? Puntual in Punctual. English. Puntual. Puntual. P-U-N-C-T-U. -E okay. uh -huh. I watch okay. it. Uh, in this case, Elizabeth, if you put, I watch it, uh, it's not, right now we're trying to work with likes and dislikes. Uh -huh. In your case will be, I pay attention when the mechanic reviews my car. I would say checks my car. I don't mind it when people talk about me. Yeah, if they talk it's because they want to be <laughs> like you. I don't mind it when my mother calls me late, me neither. I don't mind it. What? What? One. What? 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 Luis? Patricia says I don't mind it when the soccer team loses the game. Loses. I can't stand it. One. I can't stand it when the when people tell lies. When people tell lies. When, when people tell lies. I hate it when my friends aren't punctual. Very good. I don't mind it when, when people lie to me. Lies, mm -mm, because people is plural. Luis Alquimides. When people lie to me. I don't mind it when people talk about me. That's the same as, as, as Gordy, right? Write another one. Remember one is extend it, extend it. Okay. Okay, now 
Are we good with this? Do you have questions about how to say this in English? I like it when I love doing things. Quick. Very good, Mayra. That's a lovely example. I hate it when one of us calls me at night, Miss Goody. Calls me. Very good. So now, don't forget to always write your examples here at the bottom of the page, right? Here, all only Patricia participates. I want you to go ahead and participate too, right? Let's see here. I don't mind it when people spend time in TikTok or Facebook. <laughs> TikTok is a lot of fun, actually. When people do not watch the dishes, Christina, simple present. Remember the auxiliaries for simple present, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I don't see. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to share again. I just needed to see something. I don't know where, where is our... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue with the next topic, right? We're gonna go with the knowledge knowledge check, right? Did you complete the knowledge check already? I don't mind it if people say nasty words, yes. Sylvia. <laughs> nasty in English, it will be something that has a like a sexual. Uh, meaning when you say nasty words that's what they mean right so be careful with that word be careful i don't like it when my sons have a bad headache oh me neither <clears throat> so difficult when kids are sick right now we're going to continue here right with the reading part okay pay attention because you are going to read with me okay you're going to read with me. Right now, okay. we're going to pay attention to the pronunciation, of course, but later, course. I want you to read. Okay. okay. I want you to read, but let me just... <laughs> Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Are you watching the video right now? Yes. And can you listen to this? main ideas and understanding meaning from yes. context okay so let's hi pay everyone by the end of this class you'll improve your reading skills by developing skills and identifying main ideas and understanding meaning from context in this class we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps short for applications you'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words I'll read the article for you but the goal is that you'll also read it making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly after reading the article. Listen to that. He is going to read, but you need to pay attention to the pronunciation. Okay? Let's do it. Article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console 
you don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Okay, so we just read, right? Let's put it again here. You have to set up your video game console. Okay, we have it here. I am going to uh, ask four people right now. We have four paragraphs, okay? And let's see here. I want you to help me right now with the first paragraph here. Remember, paragraph only, paragraph. Sylvia, second paragraph. Patricia, third paragraph. Uh, Mr. Amilcar, and fourth paragraph, Elizabeth. Okay, let's start. Teacher. Oh, sorry, I will be paying attention to your pronunciation, right? So don't worry. I will select some words. Don't worry about it. You keep on reading. If you don't remember or you don't know the pronunciation, just say it as you think it is. Do not stop. Okay? Let's just start. Okay. Sylvia. I'm the first. Yes, I, I am the first. Yes, I said Sylvia here, right? <laughs> Sylvia here. I mentioned, I selected, right? So, I, I, I am confused. I think that I was, I, I am the second bat. Okay. In 2010, the American Dialect Society choose apps as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an, electri an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than one, than four, uh, 25,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they... <laughs> Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Commuting, commuting on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have uh, to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Who's next? Teacher, you you said that the third uh, paragraph is uh, was um, will be reading by Amilcar and she is not in the class. Ah uh, yes. Let's see Archimedes. Another A. Go ahead, Archimedes. Sorry. Okay. I have to read most as smartphones can hold hundreds of apps and you can use 
more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a, a navigation app to find a new restaurant and dining app to look at the restaurant's menu and wear forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant all of the same time. Continue. One of the most popular apps, Angry Beer, has been downloaded by more than 15 million people. In uh, 2010, this app was player uh, 2,000 million minutes directed by app user or 1.2 billion or a year, um, the Apple Store began saving apps in um, 2008 with near 1 billion sold. In 2010, and near 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of um, two point three dollars, and not only are apps popular, they're also pretty table. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Now I will select another person to help me with the pronunciation of the words that I have selected. Okay, I need you to listen. Only the person that's speaking is going to help me with the pronunciation. The other ones, please stay on mute. Okay, stay on mute. So I want you to help me with the pronunciation here. Please, Miss Azucena. Okay. Help me out. Repeat after me. I will pronounce the words and then you repeat. The other ones, repeat. Mute. Close your mic. Okay. Azucena, are you okay. there? Yes. I'm, okay. I'm here. Let's start. Society. 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 425,000. 425,000. Okay. 425,000. 425,000. Shopping. 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 Very good. Commuting. 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 Okay. Commuting. Commuting. Okay, yeah. Weather. 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 Forecast. 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 At the same time. At the same time. All at the same time. All at the same time. Birds. 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 Angry birds. Angry birds. Fifty. 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 Played. 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 Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred million. Two hundred million. Hours. 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 Selling. 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 Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, selling. Selling. Nearly. 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 Profitable. 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 
with money. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you so much for your help. Right now, do you understand this reading? Does anybody have a question about this reading? Hello? No question, teacher. No questions. I have okay. questions, teacher. Yes. No questions. Yes. I got the calls. Four tasks. Okay. Just one person at a time because I cannot listen to too many people. Okay. I heard someone uh, has a question about the meaning. Yes, sir? Yes. Okay, raise your hand, please. Let me let me just stop sharing. I don't know why I cannot see your faces there. Give me a moment. Okay, Juan Martinez wants to speak. What's your question, Juan Martinez? What is forecast? Oh, forecast is the weather forecast. Actually, it's an expression, right? Weather forecast is when you see the guy from Canal 6, right? That is telling you, oh, tomorrow is going to rain, right? Today mm -hmm. you can go to the beach because it's going to be a sunny day. So weather forecast uh, the is the weather. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, Juan. There was another person ha who had a question. Another person? No? <laughs> Yes, Veronica, what's your question? How do you mean of profitable? Profitable. Profitable, profitable. Is, profitable is a business or something that will give you, that you can make money out of it. For example, if I, if in my house, let's say, I say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to open a pupuseria because it is profitable. Many people like pupusas, right? So I will, I think I will sell $10 of pupusas every day, right? So that will be a profitable business. I can make money. For example, they're from the apps, they make money. Imagine how many apps did they sell? Oof, billions, right? Billions for $2, right? So that was a lot of money, right? Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Someone else? Someone else with another question? Let me see if I can see your faces now when I share this, because I couldn't before. No, where are you? I really cannot see. Okay. So. Does anybody have another question? No questions? No. No. Okay, let's continue. Right? The amazing world of apps. That's the, the, the this reading. With this reading, we're going to make an activity. Okay? So, we have here three very easy questions. Okay? I think these are easy. According to the article, what are some common uses of apps? Number one, find a new restaurant. Give me a moment. I'm so sorry, that's my dog. Uh, according to the article, what are some common uses of apps? Find a new restaurant, wait yourself, look at a restaurant menus, check the weather. Find a new restaurant, look at a restaurant menu, and, uh -huh. check, check, the check the weather. And check the weather, right? Very well, that's perfect. Selling mango twins is proper. <laughs> 
Number two. At the time in which the article was written, what was true about the app Angry Birds? We have four options. It, sold for it has been downloaded download by more than more 50 million people. Okay. Only that? And it's sold. It's, it's sold for sold? two dollars. It's sold for two dollars. Okay. Now let's go with number three. According to the article, why are apps so popular? Because apps are, apps are, popular, are because popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Almost anywhere. I thought it was about Lady Gaga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and dun, dun, dun. I'm going to check. If I fail, it's your fault. <gasps> Partial answer what I am i missing uh-huh mm, what it's am i sold, missing it's so uh, for two dollars 13 cents it's bad is, is that correct okay so what's the other one only one in, in, in two thousand eight it began selling in 2008? I don't know. Let's check. That's right. I don't know. I I answer uh, only the one option and I have 25 points. That's correct, okay. Patricia. Mm -hmm. Only one option. Only one. Remember, this is an exercise, okay? This is an exercise we're just trying to remember, yes. right? I got the copy. <laughs> very good now i want you to help me out right we have here an exercise right about the words with i love it i can stand it etc right and i think we're gonna complete an exercise just like that here from my book right because i i can say it better from here okay so it's better for me to say it. Teacher. Yes. What the meaning of it bothers me? I don't know how to say in Spanish. This is it correction. bothers me. For example, it when I say, uh, in my case, it bothers me when I, when I see people that are eating, right? And they are chewing um, yum, yum, with the mouth open. Like, uh, uh, it bothers me. Like, like, like disgusting. Uh, exactly. Like, I don't like it, but it's like, uh, okay. My expression uh, will be like, you. No, it bothers me. Okay. Right. Also, annoy is like, mm, it annoys me. Bother me. They are very similar. Annoying. Yeah. Upset mm -hmm. is like a stronger, right? It's, it's, a, a, ne it's a negative. So it's a negative. Yes. Yes, exactly. So we're gonna put here in green, I'm gonna put in green the ones that are positive, right? Like I love it, I like it, it makes me happy, right? And I'm gonna put here a well the ones that are in negative, you already know it, right? This, 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 these are negatives, and the ones that are just a uh, good words like neutral right i don't mind they i don't mind it it doesn't bother me it annoys me it's also negative right so what are we gonna do we're gonna try to decide which is the best option for this now but it says here look at what it says here i want you to pay attention right how do you feel about these situations, right? How do you feel about this? Maybe okay. when someone gives me a compliment, it's like, I don't mind it don't mind. when someone gives me a compliment, but maybe someone says it makes me happy. When it makes me happy and I like right? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it. to answer here. Let's just start. Let's make our okay. practice and we're going to share in one moment. Love it. 
it when I get the phone calls my daughter will make me happy when I'm a stranger I spend my money it's Someone sent a message. Uh, number 7491, I think it's Veronica, right? It's giving you an, uh, an error because you're missing one answer. That's why. There were three answers in the exercise we just did. What was yes, the other one? Uh-huh. Okay. What, Cody? Fine. A new restaurant. Find a new restaurant, exactly. Fine. Yes. Fine. 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 Teacher, when I say it really upsets me, is because I hate it. Right? It upsets me, for example, it really upsets me when someone tells me a lie and they believe that I don't I don't know the answer. Really hurt me. Yes. I'm gonna really get angry. And yeah. probably I will cry because I'm angry. I don't think one hour is enough. I think it's very short time. What do you think? I'm agree with you. Right? It's very short. Yes. Or maybe I get too excited. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, maybe it's possible that. <laughs> that I get too excited. <laughs> yes. I think it's because we are participating a lot, I think. Probably. I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. But I don't know. Right now that I'm sharing that screen, I cannot see you. But you can see me, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where you are. Maybe my computer just is, is hiding your faces or something because I cannot see you. I'm trying, but again. Now let me know when you finish, please, so we can start sharing our examples. Okay. I finished, teacher. Okay, very well. Who else finished? I finished. Okay. I finished, I think. Very good. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start here with some people. Let's see. Number one. What's your answer for number one? I'm not going to write them because they are personal situations. So Veronica, number one. What do you have? Uh, oh, I love, I love it. Okay, please right, turn off your microphones if you're not participating. Only the person that is participating should open their microphones. Let's start with Veronica, please. Read the complete sentence. Okay. 
I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Yeah, thank you so much. Excellent. Adriana, number two. Number two, I like it when I get phone calls on my birthday. Very well, thank you so much. As long as they are not work phone calls, right? <laughs> Let's see here, Gracina. Number three, um, I don't like it when a stranger asks me for money. Yeah, it really upsets me, actually. Very good, Gracina. Excellent job. Mayra, number four. I don't mind it when people call me late at night. Okay, I don't mind it. Repeat, I don't mind yeah. it. I don't mind it. Okay, excellent. In my case, I think that it scares me. When people call me late at night, it scares me. Like, why? Why people are calling me? Right. Let's see. Uh, Rosa Luz, number five. I, uh -huh. I don't like okay, when teachers are temperamental. temperamental. When teachers are temperamental. Very good. Who likes a temperamental teacher? Right. Thank you, Rosa Luz. Let's see, Miss Mayra de Paz. Did you participate, Mayra? Number six. I am ready to participate. You already, partic you already participated. Juan, number six. Number six. Mm. I think it's, I can stand. I can stand it when people are direct and say what's on their mind. Okay, I can stand it. I Repeat. can stand it. Okay, very I can good. stand it. There you are. I'm sorry, Thank I'm you. sick right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Hope you get better. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see here. Number seven, Patricia. Okay. I don't like when someone corrects my English in front of others. Sorry, Patricia. It's my job. <laughs> no, it's my job. Uh, you are right. <laughs> now let's see. let's see, Corey, number eight. I I like it when a friend is sensitive and supportive. Oh, of course, right? Very good. Archimedes, number nine. Oh, uh, when people feel fresh. What? I don't like it when people, I don't like it when people throw trash on the ground. Very good, thank you so much, Archimedes. And number 10 is for Celia. It's make me happy when a friend treats me to dinner. Okay, of course, right? Very good. Elizabeth, what did you answer for number six? Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I'm working right now. Oh. Um, okay, um, I like it with people right direct and say what's on their mind. On their mind. Mind. On their mind. No, it's okay. Perfect, thank you. And who am I missing? I'm missing two people, I think. Veronica, do you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, Azucena. Tell me your answer for number seven. I don't like it when someone corrects my English in front of others. Right. 
Well, no, the it's a deal because you and you are my teacher, right? I have the teacher, of course. I mean others. Okay, very good. Others, okay, very good. And the last person, I think it is, uh, who hasn't participated? Cori. Cori, do you participate? Yes, right? Adriana? Yes. Okay. I can do it again. <laughs> so let me see who else didn't. Who else didn't participate? Silvia, Veronica, Rosa, Riva. No, Everyone no, no. participated. Gracina? Yes? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. All of us. All of you. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> so, right, we're going to finish with this question. Look at this question here. And, oops, what happened? What happened? What happened? My touch screen got crazy. Okay. It says, do you ever get annoyed by a certain type of person or situation, right? Do you ever get annoyed? For example, let's take a look at the picture here, right? What's happening in this picture? Look at here, it says, she went to the ATM. In the ATM, this is, says, password deny, right? So. What happens to you in this situation, in the picture situation? Mm. How do you feel? <laughs> do you get annoyed? It really, it really upset me. Uh -huh. it when really the power is denied. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sad <laughs> when the password is denied. Yes. <laughs> it makes me My stress. money can, can, uh, what? You can get, get the money, can... yes. You uh... can get the money out. Very good. What about the others? Patricia, Resina? Uh, in my case, teacher. <laughs> in my case, I prefer to make a transference. <laughs> Fancy. Very good. <laughs> and you, Resina? Uh, for me, I'm not me because. It when, annoys you. Yes, because uh, sometimes I don't remember the password in, in my platform uh, of the bank is um, uh, cancel or then I. Yeah. Uh, Put the password, give it to me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very well. You so, need a little money. <laughs> put <and> hurt. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. So here we have learned today we practice pronunciation and we practice a little bit of grammar, right? Vocabulary as well. Remember, every time that you see or you listen to a new word, write it on your notebook, on your notepad and make sentences, right? Make sentences and check with me if you want to, if the sentences are okay or no, right? So we can learn every day. Any questions before we leave? No questions for today. No questions? Okay, do we have classes tomorrow? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because tomorrow is tomorrow be Friday. Friday. <laughs> so, Tomorrow we don't have classes. <laughs> I will see you guys uh, by Monday next week. Okay? Monday. Okay. Monday, yes. Have a beautiful rest okay. of the day, the night. Enjoy dinner with your families and the weekend, of course. Thank you for you too. Thank you. Have Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.